Okay, okay. So at this time, no, we must need to focus on our next lesson, no, which is the human activities that can affect our atmosphere. So in this lesson, we must need to explain how some human activities affect the atmosphere. So, yan po. Meron po akong papakit, pinakit ang isang image din sa presentation, no? Um, sino ang may gawa ng lahat ng yan, no? And then, ano nga ba yung mga other implications ng mga human activities na towards to our environment, no? So, human activities affects the atmosphere because of the um, chemicals or the harmful gas being produced. And then, some of the adverse effects of the human activities to the atmosphere just like yung mga nakikita natin at matatakal din natin siya later on. And then, unay muna natin yung air pollution, no? Which is, the co which is caused by the combination of the small particles called pollutants and gases in the air, no? So, air pollution can cause health problems to the people. The pollutants are tiny particles Particles or substances that, when mixed with air, can cause adverse effect. Adverse effect, no. Hindi pala affect, no. Adverse effect, no. I'm sorry, I'm wrong. So there are the examples of air pollution, no. Um, pagre-release ng mga fos, ng mga or pagre-release, pagre-release ng burn, to burn fossil fuels, no. Sa mga factories, and then ng mga combustion combustion engines no nagre-release sila ng mga usok no lalo na yung mga may itim na usok no and then and then pagsusunog no ng mga um ng mga plastic bottles no so ayan at saka yung mga ibang basura and then next yung mga smog, no? So, ano nga ba yung smog, no? Smog is a combination of fog and smoke which are emitted by cars and then factories. Most visible form of air pollution commonly found in the cities, no? And then, meron tayong dalawang types ng smog. So, they are the sulfurous smog which caused by the burning fossil fuels, no? Just like, for example, yung mga coal, no? By factories, no? So, yung mga, um... I reiterate ko lang po ulit magkaiba po yung coal at saka yung charcoal no yung coal po um galing po siya dun sa um sa mga sinunog ng mga fossil fuels no and then yung mga charcoal yun po yung mga um mm, yun po yung mga sinunog ng mga sanga sa mga sanga or mga sa mga sangang kahoy no galing sa mga puno and then Photochemical smog, no, which caused by the combination of oxides of nitrogen, hydrocarbons, and then UV, which are usually emitted by motor vehicles and factories alike. So yun lamang po. So in terms of ozone depletion, no, it is significant to the Earth's atmosphere as it protects all living things by absorbing the harmful UV radiation coming from the sun. Then, initially. Ozone is a harmful pollutant at ground level, but it is protecting shield of the earth when it is in the stratosphere. No, so in the mid or mid or late 20th century, no, no, kapag sinabi natin 20th century, mga simula yun sa 1901 hanggang taong 2000, no, no. The British Antarctic Survey team confirmed their initial fear that there is a hole in the ozone layer, no, over the time in the Antarctic. So ayan po siya. Nakikita po natin yung butas ng ozone layer. So sobrang nakakadelikado 'yan, no. And then man-made chemicals especially chlorofluorocarbons, no, or CFCs, no, nakalimutan ko yung isang Um, parenthesis doon, have destroyed it. The depletion of ozone layer can increase the risk of skin cancer, cataracts, and other immune system problems. No? Sa so, madaling sabi, nakatalagang, na, ano talaga, or sabi naman natin, kahit nga sa skin cancer, na malalaman natin yun na dahil nga dun sa ozone na yan, it is um, one of the signs na ito ay isang carcinogenic, di ba? And then, susunod, no, chlorofluorocarbons, no, 
are used in manufacturing processes of the following products used by the humans. So it was used in manufacturing refrigerators before it was banned, no? Mga nasa bandang, mga nasa bandang panahon ng 20th century. Um, it is used as propellant in spray cans, no? So it is used as solvents in cleaning computer circuits during manufacture. Even though may iba, gumagamit pa rin ng CFC, but um, hindi na ito basta-basta um, naititinda pa sa merkado. Kasi karamihan talaga dito is naban na. And then suddenly, ano yung propellant na sinasabi ko? A propellant, No, or the propell propellant no, is a chemical substance used in the production of energy or pressurized gas that is subsequently used to create movement or of a fluid or to generate propulsion of a vehicle, projectile or the object. Propellants helps to develop proper pressure within the container and expel the products in the form of vapor in the formulation of aerosols. No? So in global warming, no, it is the gradual increase in the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere and its oceans, which affects the climate change in the Earth. So greenhouse gases are one of the primary causes of global warming. Even if these gases exist, no, naturally on Earth, human activities increase their amount in the Earth's atmosphere. So ano ang ba yung mga greenhouse gases na tinutukoy ko? So ito po siya. Actually, marami pa po yan, pero tatlo lang po yung ipipresent ko mo na as of now. So there are the carbon dioxide or CO2, methane or CH4, and then nitrous oxide, which is the N2O. which are which they are responsible for the greenhouse effect so some trace gases are known as greenhouse gases because they function like the glass in a greenhouse no good saan lalo nagpapainit no so in carbon dioxide no okay. um it is naturally produced when people and animal breed no Sa madaling sabi, no, nalalanghap natin is oxygen and then i-release -re natin as a carbon dioxide na po siya. No? So, plants and trees take in and use this to produce their own food. So, one of the example of that is the volcanoes also produced carbon dioxide. So, mapunta naman tayo sa methane. It comes from grazing animals as they digest their food from decaying matter in wet rice fields. So it can also be released from buried waste. No? And then, for example, the leftover food, garden waste, and animal waste collected from our homes are thrown into dump sites. No? So when lots of waste are compressed and packed, toge packed together, they produce methane. No? So coal mining is also produced the methane. No? Basing na rin sa nakikita ninyo. Yan. Or yung pag-grazing, no? Basta na rin sa nakikita ninyo. Lastly, no? Nakafocus na tayo sa nitrous oxide, no? Which is released naturally from bacteria and soils. And then, nakikita natin na nitrous oxide sa pamagitan ng paggamit ng nitrogen-based fertilizers and disposing of human and animal waste. No? So, meron tayong advantage at disadvantage sa paggamit ng nitrogen-based fertilizers, no? So, yung advantage, no? So, the nitrogen fertilizers provide nutrients for crops, syempre, di ba? Kaya nga, uh, malaking may tutulong din na nitrogen fertilizers, no? Para magkaroon ng sapat na nutrient or nutrient yung mga halaman na, na or mga crops no, na naitatanim natin sa particular area na tinataniman ng mismong um, substrate, sa mismong lupa or yung substrate na ginagamit natin. So, by the way, yung disadvantage, no, when these fertilizers break down in the soil, nitrous oxide is released into the air. So, ganun lamang po. So, I hope no, I hope you enjoy it and then, yun lamang po uh, ang ating nilalaman ng lesson natin for this time. And then, if everyone po na may question, leave a comment below and then, okay, so that's all for today. Goodbye.